Hi, I'm Lou, another episode of My Car Story. Today we're in Chicago. I'm with Tom Lembeck. Tom, good to see you again. Lou, back again. And another great car of Tom's. Today we're gonna see, Tom's had some Hemi cars we've had on before. Check out Daytona Hemi, you'll see that one. Check out Ch uh, Cuda Hemi, you can check out that one. But here's another great car. Tom, what do we have right now? We have a 1970 446 pack Cuda convertible uh, black four speed. And that's pretty special because why? How many of these are there? There's a supposedly 29 six pack convertible Cuda's built in 1970. Uh, 17 four speeds, 12 automatics to get into the numbers, but of the black four speeds, there's uh, three. Let me grab the camera. Thank you, Joe. All right, let's get right to our main attraction. Come on alongside me, Tom, and speak right into the microphone right there. But uh, how long have you had this one? This car I've probably had uh, maybe 12 years. And and why of all the cars, you're you're kind of a Cuda and Challenger expert. What what got you to this point where you're I'll call it not only quantity, but quality. I mean, what, what got that? There's that beautiful 440, 440 hockey strike. Well, a Hemi convertible is obviously the holy grail of all uh, e-body convertibles, and these are considered e-bodies. But a six-pack, if anybody has driven them on the street, uh, everybody kind of knows that a six-pack motor built a little bit is the best street motor that you can drive around and the convertible Cudas with a 446 pack is just extremely rare. So, and, and that shaker hood scoop we're look, looking at, that's even rarer, why is that? Because you had to special order, uh, any car that wasn't a Hemi Cuda, you had to special order the shaker hood. You had to check that off on the option list and maybe five or six, seven, you know, six pack convertibles were ordered with that shaker hood. Wow. So when We're, someone makes a dream list of uh, what they want, they'll say black, four speed, shaker hood. Uh, convertible. No, convertible. <laughs> yeah. So I've only seen two of the three cars and it just black is, you know, ever since I was uh, a kid, I always loved black black cars. Well, it's it's a it's a pain to keep clean, but you could see our, our, our picture here in the mirror of the car and I, I think I mean uh, the 70 and the 71 Cudas were in my opinion some of the best ones period just the design of them and I probably favor the 70 I just like the single headlight just a tad more right. than the dual I, I get it that the 71's rarer and people may be starting to make some comments on YouTube don't do that I like them both okay right <laughs> but you know you have the fishgill rockers on a 70 which is just I think is incredible 71s just have the uh, the straight rocker that goes across but the fishgills on the 70 is just I just think it's mind-blowing yeah it's a real cool touch so I kind of favor the 70s too although I, I do understand the 71s are you know the pinnacle and yeah some guys are. That is so unique, the uh, the black with the, the matte black. And this was ordered with leather interior, and it's got the uh, pedal dress up package. It's got a rally dash, uh, so four are... speed uh, AM 8 track radio. It's got the power top. Uh, it's got a white top, which adds a lot of contrast to the car. And uh, this was a Canadian ordered car. So two of the three black cars that were built were Canadian ordered. They ordered some of the rarest uh, Cudas. They, they just had a, a fever for uh, rare Cudas back in the day and they ordered uh, most of the rarest uh, convertibles. They just kind of, whoever ordered this car obviously knew which boxes to check. Yeah. And they, they did it the right way and, and that was that. You know, it's just such a wonderful history lesson, getting a chance to go through these cars. Now, I've had a lot of the guys approach me about buying this car, and this could be my favorite car of all the, the cars I own. And uh, Which is saying something, because you've got a few cars. Right, and it's just I've taken this on road trips. Uh, We've actually put a, a passing overdrive tranny in it. I've had it 140 miles an hour outside of Kingman, Arizona. Which is a safe spot to drive it there. Yeah, we would it was never... wide open road, but yeah. these cars really don't punch a hole in the, the wind much more than that speed. But this thing drove perfect. Uh, 
you know, made the road trip from Phoenix to Las Vegas with, with no problems. I've taken it out. It's, it, it runs and drives fantastic. And that's just great. Let's take a look under the hood. Yeah. We've got the sun beam. We, picked, we gave you the right day to take a look at these. And there you go. And there's the, uh, a lot of the cars I have that's not stock, but I like to put a little uh, modified headers. exhaust. Yeah, yeah sure. headers and three inch exhaust because I run much better. I do a little head work on them. And uh, if you don't do that, then you just choke them out and you're just kind of defeating the purpose. And, you know, you could always put it back to stock if someone's a fanatic or if I ever sold the car and somebody wanted it, you know, factory perfect. But uh, you know, I like to drive them. So. And that just looks great. So we try to, you know, get them as original as possible. If you take a shot of the fender tag, this is the original tag. And once again, the N96, which is an option on anything but a Hemi car. So you had a special order of that. Power top, TX9 black with a white top, D21 four speed, the V code for six pack. So, Tom, you, you'd be considered an, an expert in these cars. W would that be fair to say? I uh, mean, yeah, I know you're going to be humble about it. But. An expert on you know production numbers and how rare they are. I mean, what, could I go to a show and judge them? Probably not. Okay. But uh, you know, to me, that's not the important part of these cars. It's the history and how rare they are, yeah. and the fact that it's a real six-pack convertible and it's black. That's so cool. I didn't have to change the color of the car to make it black because I like it. <laughs> it was ordered that way. The rarity is important, and so you say this is your favorite. What makes this the sweetheart of the of the group? Just the way it drives, the way we put it together, the fact that it is black, that yeah. it's a four-speed, the options, you know. Can just, you can you stop smiling when you're driving this and people pull no, up? No, you're yeah. just happy from the <laughs> exactly. second you step yeah, into it. Exactly. It doesn't matter if you go to the golf course, the grocery store, yeah. to a car show. Uh, and the fact that you just you could go years and never see a real six-pack convertible no matter how many shows you go to exactly so let's start her up okay Let's have you shut the hood. Okay. Oh, this is beautiful. Tom, thanks again for letting us do another one of your uh, babies, and, and thanks so much for keeping the car as, as original and beautiful as it is. It's just a treat to come out and see you and come out and do your cars. Thanks for being on my car story. My pleasure, Luke.